Hi. Hello. 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 This is great. People don't usually clap when I go anywhere. Hi, I'm Pierce. Uh, I'm a student in the Dublin Institute for Advanced Studies. And if you haven't heard what that is, don't worry about it. Nobody else in the entire world has either. Uh, just think of me as a Trinity student, because that'll really make me feel better. I have aspirations. Uh, no, I am a PhD student, and in particular, I'm a solar physicist, which means I st spend all day staring at the sun, uh, just like my mother warned me not to, but yet here I am. Um, I am a solar physicist. I look at the sun with a special instrument called LOFAR, or ILOFAR, which stands for the Irish Low Frequency Array. And I'll talk a little bit about what that is. Uh, it's a really, really cool thing. It's a telescope in Burr. And before we go any further, how many people of you don't know where Burr is? Put up your hands, please, and thank you. Cool. Of those people who don't know where Burr is, how many are you from Dublin? <laughs> that was uh, not the reaction I expected. A lot, <laughs> a lot better geography knowledge, anyway here. Great. So Burr is in the middle of Ireland. It's in County Offaly, for those of you who are too embarrassed to admit it. Um, and the best thing about Burr is that we have this radio telescope here. And it's the important thing I should stress is it's a radio telescope. It's not like any other telescope you've ever seen or imagined in your life. So to sort of set the scene, but not that it matters, imagine for me, if you will, or won't, um, a piece of, piece of PVC pipe just here on the ground because it's about that high and some wires coming out nailed on some rebar and then maybe 20 meters over there imagine a five meter by five meter polystyrene thing covered in bin bags and then imagine 96 of each that's low fire it's very unimpressive it's actually the most boring thing to ever see if you ever are in Burr but it's great because it looks through clouds and rain and snow and hail and all sorts of weather that you get in Burr, of all places, in Ireland, of course. And what I do with it is I look at the sun, because the sun is the super best thing ever, because it has explosions and there's bits shooting out into space the whole time. And what we do is we look at the sun and watch and wait for if and when something to happen. Um, unfortunately for me, it was a lot more if something is going to happen rather than when something was going to happen. So one and a half years into the PhD, I decided, you know what, it might be a good idea to study something that's actually happened. <laughs> so one and a half years of work down the drain, and here I am studying something completely different, but still the sun, the sun is still great, and I love it. <laughs> if you haven't picked that up already. <laughs> but I'm more than just a weirdo who loves the sun. I'm a regular person like you. I have hopes, dreams, aspirations, hobbies. Uh, I've started bouldering, or well, I've been bouldering for about nine months. Uh, for those of you who don't know, it's like rock climbing, but indoors, and short enough that you don't die if you fall off the top. <laughs> And it's great. It's great for two reasons, actually. The first uh, is that it's just the perfect problem-solving thing. You mix uh, having to, oh my god, what is going on here, with, oh my god, I'm not able to do anything. And you just get to meet some friends and cool people and like very, very like attractive people bouldering of all, all senses of the word. They're just they're built. Anyway, all that aside, I love it, but I also, there's two problems as well. The first one, I generally have a tendency to give up uh, and things aren't going my way, uh, so I'll see you all later. <laughs> the second, the second is I'm colorblind. I'm not in the I don't see color sort of way. Uh, in more, <laughs> more of the like, uh, you know that red thing you're telling me to put my foot on? That doesn't exist. It's green, please help. That sort of colorblind. And it's only really caught me recently. Um, but now after starting bouldering and looking at all these things, I've been a bit more introspective and realized I've like so many different areas in my life where colorblindness really matters. For example, I've never had a ripe banana. <laughs> and that sounds a lot dirtier than it was meant to. <laughs> So yeah, so yellows and greens, they're all the same. The rainbow is actually a great one. You know the rainbow? Everyone's heard of it, seen a rainbow, surely. A myriad of colors all the way across the sky. God's symbol to earth for peace everlasting, or whatever you're having yourself. It's red and yellow. <laughs> and maybe blue as well if you squint at it, but you know. It's a sad existence. <laughs> But like statistically, one in 10 men are colorblind. So it's a serious thing that nobody ever cares about. Uh, specifically, or mostly in science, it seems. Because um, science is great, because scientists love telling each other about the things they do, like me right now. They tell each other about all these different things. And the favorite way of doing that is using plots or graphs or charts or whatever. Until, it's great, until you're sort of sitting down listening to somebody, and then we see the red points here. And then all of a sudden you're, whoa, 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 whoa. 
red points? <laughs> there are red points on that graph? Were there red points on the other one? What about the... <laughs> so does this mean I've just misunderstood everything you said? Has everything I've learned about science in my entire life up until this point wrong? Yes, but for many other reasons that I won't get into. <laughs> But no, it's, uh, it's a lot of fun being a scientist and getting to study just all sorts of kooky, crazy stuff that the sun does. I mean, I could stand here all day, literally, and talk about it nonstop, so I won't do that. And I'll, uh, I'll finish on... What will I finish? I'll finish on not saying that I'm going to finish, because now you're all expecting me to finish. And now I'm just sort of here, <laughs> rambling, not knowing what's going on. That was very smart. I'm a scientist. No, I love it. It's really like, it just makes life uh, so worthwhile and enjoyable. And I'm slowly sort of encouraging the colorblind awareness sort of thing in my own office. Everybody comes to me now and is like, hey, Pierce, uh, what's this chart like? Does it look okay? Can you see that? And I'll go, no. And they, okay, cool. And they'll ignore me. It's great. <laughs> But it really, it really gives me a sense of self-worth, uh, which is uh, something that you need when you're living and working in a city which is run by incompetence and you can't afford to live because bars are shutting down, we turn into hotels and everything. It's all very sad. But hey, I'll just go back to staring at the sun and make myself happy. So hey, <laughs> thank you very much. You've been very kind.